Jimmy. My name is Dean Merriman. I'm from Melbourne Law School. So, Dean, um, what were your expectations before entering the EMC Square, and have they been met? Hard work, lots of substantive knowledge, um, intimate knowledge of WTO law, great advocacy skills. Um, I hope I've fulfilled the great advocacy skills, but I've certainly learnt a lot, um, certainly substantively, but you also learn about how to prepare submissions, um, how to balance your time, certainly how to uh, balance it with other university commitments. It's a, the whole process is huge, um, and I've taken a lot away from it. And what did the EMC Square mean to you as a participant? As a participant, uh, a great opportunity to come together with other students from around the world who are also really interested and passionate about this material um, and who want to use it to do something really constructive. And that's certainly been my experience now that I'm here. And what would you tell a future participant? Prepare for a lot of hard work, um, but it's definitely definitely do the hard work so that you get here and so that you get the opportunity to um, present your material in front of really intelligent students, in front of incredible panellists, um, and it's absolutely worth it. Yep. Hi, Thank my you. name is Christina Tamaral and I'm from King's College in London. Christina, what were your expectations before entering the competition? Um, my expectations were to get a lot of, well, uh, good knowledge about WTO law and other aspects of international law, as well as to participate in this wonderful academic experience, meet a lot of people from the whole world and a lot of other students with um, a lot of knowledge about the things that I'm interested in. And what did the IMS Square mean to you as a participant? As a participant, I feel like they have done a very good job providing everything for us and really um, making this a very wonderful experience and um, and what would you tell a student who is considering to enter the competition I would tell students that it would be a lot of a lot of hard work and you probably have to sacrifice some Friday nights some Saturday nights but it's definitely re rewarding in the end and if you get to the final oral rounds, I think you just forget about all the hard work and think that it's definitely worth it. Thank Hello, you. My name is Carlos Guerra. I'm from the University of Los Andes in Colombia. Carlos, what were your expectations before entering the competition? Well, there were too many expectations, but I think the main one was just to step up and do something different than what all the people are used to, do, especially in Colombia. They are just pass on your subjects and graduate. So doing something different, doing something special before graduating from law school. And were your expectations met? Yeah, definitely. All of them. So what did the Music Square mean to you as a participant? Uh, it was an opportunity to test myself and to develop some new skills, really, really important skills, and to get some standard knowledge of knowledge. And what would you tell a future participant? It is a lot of hard work, uh, but definitely at the end it will be worth it and just go for it because besides all the hard work, it's a lot of fun too. My name Thank is Kaben Guarunyoa and I'm at the University of Ottawa Faculty of Law. What were your expectations before entering this competition and have they been met? Well, I don't know what my expectations were. Um, I had not participated in, in an international mood before uh, and I did not particularly have an interest in trade either. Um, the reason why I participated in the MOOT was because there was an intellectual property component, which I do have an interest in. Uh, but I must say, like throughout the experience, that uh, balance has shifted. So firstly, I realized that the practice of law is necessarily interdisciplinary. Uh, so not only uh, do I have an interest in intellectual property law, but trade law, but I now get a larger systemic feel for everything. And the process of preparing for this competition helped me realize how integrated everything is. Um, my expectations were certainly met. What did the EMC Square mean to you as a participant? Oh, pardon me? What did the EMC Square mean to you as a participant? Well, I think it was a really good opportunity to um, test my knowledge vis-a-vis uh, -vis students from other countries. And I think that's one of the unique things about moves like uh, EMC Square is that unlike national moves where students usually get to compete with 
uh, the colleagues within the country, this necessarily brings together students from different parts of the world. So even though they might have different legal systems and different approaches to doing things, I think it's really good to have a forum where we can all um, deal with a, a common subject that affects everybody regardless of their legal system. So I, I think this is a very good format for that sort of experience. And what would you tell a student who is considering to enter the competition? I will say they should absolutely do it. Uh, they should expect to work really hard. They should expect to not like the process uh, at some point. However, at the end of it, they'll love even the parts that they did not like so much. Uh, the learning curve can be very steep. Uh, personally, as I said, I had no experience with trade law. And there was just a million different agreements. I didn't know how they were related. Uh, I was trying to use common sense when there's a whole body of jurisprudence that says things should be a certain way. Uh, but after a period of feeling really lost, there was a period of time where after discussing with my team members, debating, uh, sometimes borderline fighting with them on certain points, uh, it all just clicked. So I think uh, for future participants, if you're considering doing it or you're feeling frustrated while you're doing it, uh, it's bad tasting medicine, which is good for you. Thank My name you. is Ida Soraya Verzosa, and I'm from the Ateneo de Manila University of the Philippines. Okay. Um, what were your expectations before entering the competition, and have your expectations been met? Before entering the competition, they really told me that this would be the most arduous time of preparation. And I think it was met and perhaps exceeded even further, because the level of hard work that we had to put into the competition was even more than we would give in the regular classes. Also, since None of us had experience with WTO law before, so this, this was all a very fresh opportunity for us. And what did the EMC Square mean to you as a participant? Well, the EMC Square to me, I guess, was a devotion of some sort. It was like making a commitment to something, day in and day out, doing oral drills and having to read all those cases and having to make sure that you would be sharp enough, you would be responsive enough, and you would be able to bring glory to God in your country since you're representing a specific region, a specific university. So it's not about you anymore, but it's about representing what you believe in in presenting for the furtherance of WTO law and for the development of international law in general for students all over the world. And what would you tell a student who is considering to enter the competition? A student who would be considering entering the competition would have to have strong guts probably, you should have clarity of mind and perhaps have a strong heart because the kind of hard work that is expected in competing isn't something that would normally be encountered in a normal life situation. And so for the EMC squared, it would really en enable you to develop your legal skills, not just in written argumentation, but also in your oral pleadings. And as a lawyer, it would also be a great way to network and build relationships with other people, to build friendships, especially with the members of ELSA and the organizers of the competition. Thank you.